In this lecture, I will discuss the basics of digital filters. In analog signal processing, we created filters from resistors, capacitors, inductors, and op-amps. In digital signal processing, we create filters with an analog to digital converter, a digital filter composed of registers, delay units, multipliers, and adders, and a digital to analog converter. We will discuss digital filtering operations by using the low-pass filter example that we used last lecture. First, we input the signal X sub A of T, which has high and low frequencies, into the A to D converter. X sub A of T is sampled by the periodic switch and quantizer to create the digital signal X sub N. X sub N would then be stored in computer memory as a set of bits. X sub N is then sent to the digital filter, which will produce the low frequency discrete signal Y sub N. Here's a generic example of a digital filter. The digital filter creates Y sub N by applying a series of delay operations, multiply operations, and add operations. Notice how the subscripts change with every delay. This filter is expressed by a difference equation that is created by mapping the add and multiply operations to a mathematical expression. For example, we multiply x sub n minus 1 by a sub 1 and add it to our final y sub n. We will discuss difference equations in greater depth later, so this is, so this is just an introduction. When there is no feedback loop, we say that the filter is non-recursive and has final, finite impulse response. When there is a feedback loop, we say that the filter is recursive or has infinite impulse response. Now let's return to the broad view of our filter example, where we will now send Y sub N to the D to A converter to recover y hat sub a of t. We create y hat sub a of t by multiplying and adding y sub n samples by sync functions. If we sampled above the Nyquist frequency, or x sub a of t, y hat sub a of t should perfectly match the output of our analog filter from the beginning, y sub a 